Hey family, it's your girl Lady D here coming at you with a very quick, simple, and easy recipe video. This is just one of those quick ones I throw together when I want something sweet for dessert, but I don't have a lot of time or a lot of ingredients to make nothing. I um, kind of always know I got me a can of crescent dough in the refrigerator and a can of pie filling any kind will do today i got some country cherry pie filling so that's what i'm making cherry fried pies fried pies cherry cherry fried pies so that's what i'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that real quick and simple like i said when you just want something sweet and don't have nothing and you just say what can i mm, mm, mm. don't feel like going to the store Oh, I got some crescent roll dough, and I got me some pie filling, so I'm going to make it happen. So, I'm going to show you what you need to do. I already got one of my crescent rolls open here. And this one happened to come in a package of uh, eight. So, with this eight, I'm going to be able to make me four pies. You know, they split in half. And then you just unroll and you're gonna need to and you're gonna hope that you can find the beginning of it real easy and if you can't you're gonna just figure out how to get your two <laughs> off of here some type of way and i'm gonna get me two triangles two crescent triangles i hope sometimes they come out real funny looking but we're going to make it do what, we, what it do. Is that two? It might be three. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sometimes these cheaper ones be, uh, whew, you get anything. You get what you pay for, they say. But I'm still going to make this, even though it's funny looking, y'all, I'm going to make this into a crust. Just going to make sure to make this. Oh, is that too much light? Can y'all see that? It may be too much light. Let me turn off some light. Somewhere. Let me see that dough just a little bit better. I hope it's not too dark now. And I do have some already made up over here because I want to make, but I'm going to show you how to make this into. I'll just take that, those triangles. I see those two are perfect. I'll come back to this. <laughs> I'm going to come back to that one. But all you do is just take two of the triangles, like I said, and you're going to separate them. And what I'm going to do is take one and overlap it over the other in the opposite direction. I'm going to make sure it overlaps it because I'm going to seal it. Just going to take your finger and seal it together to make a rectangle. See, now I got a rectangle. And that's what you want to do with all eight of your uh, triangles. Make four rectangles. That's all. Make your four rectangles out of your dough. Let me see how I can make this one. Cause um, it's not really a triangle, y'all. But I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a rectangle out of it. We gonna make this work. Cause that's what we do here. We make the best out of bad situation. <laughs> When you get in this kitchen, you got to make it work. If you're going to be the cook. So we're going to make this into a rectangle. Got another little piece over here that came off. And we're going to put that up there. And blend that in. we got us a rectangle not the best rectangle in the world but it's a rectangle nonetheless 
things enough to get that pie fried. And like I said, you're going to make your eight triangles into four. And I showed you how we're going to do that. So, you know what you're going to do now is take you a little sugar. First, you want to make sure it's not sticking to your surface too much because you're going to have to lift that up. We'll take you a little sugar and sprinkle on top of this crust or on top of your crescent dough just like so just a little sugar make sure this tv ain't too loud no problem open up my pie filler You can pour this out in the bowl or just pour it right out. The, I mean, use it right out the can, whichever. Whichever you like. And you're going to just take about a spoonful and a little spoon and a half, we'll say. And put it right on one half of your dough here. Not too overly filled. And we're gonna fold the top half over. And take us a fork. And we're gonna seal the edges on the three sides. third if you're working from this angle or you can get your spatula and move it to another location until you're ready to fry but you're gonna get them filled take your next crust show you again sprinkle your sugar over the top To a spoon and a half of the dough. I mean, of your of your uh, filling, whichever flavor you're using. So, not too much on the ends. You're going to fold that over. You're going to seal those edges on the three sides like we just did. And get these all these other five or six done and I'll be right back to show you what we'll do next okay family we are back I have did my four pies filled up and crimped them and you want to work kind of fast with this because this uh crescent dough gets real soft uh the more it sits out and you don't really want that in it yeah so kind of work as fast as you can Cause it's going to get kind of sticky the longer that dough sits out so now we have them all uh, filled and crimped on the ed edges now all we got to do now is put these bad boys in the fryer in a little vegetable oil or whatever type of oil you like to use and we're gonna see how they fry up let's get it on my oil getting hot. So, let that heat up for a minute and we'll get this on the road. thing to you is try to make sure you uh, cover all your you know when you stretch your dough you stretch it out 
where you don't have too many holes in it because that fruit will start bubbling out as it's frying and you don't want it to come out too much. You want to leave all your filling inside <laughs> of your uh, pasta. This may be ready. I think it should be ready by now. So, like I say, this dough gets a little soft as it sits. So, now this is the hardest part, trying to lift it up without tearing it and get it from the uh, plate to the fryer. so gently because you don't want to knock your filling out of the ends out of the crust and you don't want to overcrowd your pan so I'm just going to do two at a time so I can keep my eye on them good as they fry Just fry them long enough to get golden brown, and we flip them. Put them on our uh, paper towel lined plate to drain some of that oil off. Sprinkle a little powdered sugar on top, and you got yourself a dessert. Didn't have to go to the store. <laughs> Didn't have to spend no extra cash. And it was really, really good. So you're going to cook them maybe about two to three minutes on each side. So you can see if it's the color you want it to be, flip it gently. What you want? I'ma cook those other two. two. Meet you back at the table. Okay, family, we are back. Our pies are out of the skillet. They are done frying, and I just brought them to show you how they turned out. I had to turn that light back on, so I hope it's not drowning it out too much. I cut one to show you, and I did let some of the and leak out when I cut it so sprinkle the powdered sugar on top mm -hmm. delicious guy just a quick recipe I want to share with you and as always I'd like to thank you for joining me, for checking out this video, this recipe. And remember, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please take time to subscribe at this time. Thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment down below. If you try this recipe out, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Until next time, next video, remember you're always welcome here at Lady D's.